try to settle in right here. What have you got right here? You've got the body breathing, and you've got the mind thinking and aware. Just so try to put those things together. Think about the breath and be aware of the breath coming in and going out. And then on top of that, you can decide how to make this comfortable. Because if you want to stay here for a long time, you have to make adjustments. It's like moving into a, a new house. At first, it's not going to be all that comfortable because you haven't decorated it the way you want. You haven't arranged it the way you want. But it is something you can arrange. What we're experiencing right now in the present moment is not totally the result of past actions. It's also the result of present actions as well. In fact, your present intentions are things that you're aware of even before you're aware of things coming into the senses. But then we tend to cover up those intentions, which means we don't make the most use of them. We can change our intentions right here, right now, so that they are good, skillful. So that no matter what comes up from our past actions, we don't have to suffer from it. That's something you always want to remember. You have choices in the present moment. Sometimes the range is wide, sometimes it's small, but the choices are there. And you can always choose to do something skillful. Keep that in mind as well. That way you can decorate this house, this home with the body, or what the Buddha calls Vihara Dhamma. The quality that creates a home for the mind. It's much better than a lot of the other homes you've been moving through. Because it's from this home that you can look at the others and you can see them clearly. Something else comes up, invites you to move away someplace else. You say, no, I've got a home here. I don't need to travel around. This is a good home. When you're well based like this, then your actions, your words, your deeds are well founded, are solidly based. So do your best to maintain this sense of being at home here. You can adjust your breath, you can adjust your attitudes. And John Lee talks a lot about adjusting the breath. And John Sawat would talk a lot about adjusting your attitude. Come with a sense of conviction that this is a good thing to do. Have a sense that you're lifting the mind up to a good house, a better place to live. The image the Buddha gives in the canon is of a person who's ascended a tower and looked down on the world below. You can see things as they're happening, but you're not pushed around by the things that are happening. You have your separate place, and from your separate place you can make some wise observations. So that when you do have to deal with other people, you can keep that perspective of the separate place in mind. So you're not totally sucked in by other people's attitudes, sucked in by their demands. You realize that you have your sense of freedom. That's what comes with having a house of your own. If you're a homeless person wandering around, you're subject to the weather, you're subject to people's moods. Sometimes they allow homeless people to wander around, sometimes they don't. But if you've got a home, this is your place. Nobody can push you out. So you're safe and you're free. You're free to make the right choices, and that's the kind of freedom that really matters.